Okay, we're going to start with questions about the game and then we'll move on to an embargo section ahead of Fulham on Tuesday nights. The embargo will be 12 o'clock on Monday. James. I'm trusted delighted with that result and in particular your dynamic in the first half looked really strong. James Madison and Sarah Sumer and Sarah Sumer. Yeah, I, I am, yeah. I mean, obviously it's a you know, positive result, but yeah, our, our performance in general I thought was was really encouraging. Um, yeah, first half I thought we were really good. Um, you know, we knew that, you know, watching Bournemouth the first couple of games, they're going to be pretty aggressive with their press, particularly here at home. So we had to be ready for that. And, you know, I just thought we, we stayed really clear-headed through that early part of the game. We were brave when we needed to be, uh, kept the game simple. And that helped us, I thought, just get control of the game. And, yeah, first half we were, you know, we, we really sort of played the game in the, in the manner we want to. We probably maybe could have got a goal or two more. Um, Early second half, sort of 10, 15 minutes, we we lost control of the game a little bit. Um, you know, just got a bit hurried with our passing, a bit sloppy, and made some bad decisions. But <coughs> after that, you know, we, we really settled and scored our second goal, and I thought we had control for the rest of it. Um, you know, even in the moments where we weren't totally, in, you know, um, in control of the game, you know, we never really let them threaten our goal. I thought our defensive work was really good, especially, you know, middle and back third. Um, to keep them away from our goals because they have threats. Probably the only maybe negative thing was with Richarlison's performance. He seemed to struggle with confidence again today and mm. had a chance in the first half which he didn't take. Um, he seems to be still struggling to get that sort of form that he's after. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, that's it's part of life, mate. It's part of a football career. You're going to go through moments. You've just got to keep working hard. You've just got to keep contributing to the team and, and contributing to us, um, you know, um, being successful and, and, and overcoming the challenges we have, you know, there's there's no time in this game for for people to sort of dwell or, or you know think introspectively about where they're at. Um, you know, Richie's Richie will work through it. He's he's a good footballer. He'll get his goals. But more important for me is that he keeps sort of contributing to to what we do as a team um, because um, ultimately. You know, we're not going to get to where we want to on the back of you know one player or you know one person scoring goals. The fans seem to be delighted with the performance, though. Some of the chance we've got our Tottenham back, and we're seeing your name quite a lot during the game as well. They seem really happy with the way you know your side is, is performing. That must please you as well. Yeah, it does. Um, you know, they're they're obviously a key part of this. You know, we we, we need their energy, and I thought they were outstanding again today. And um, you know. We, what we've sort of embarked on, it's not going to be easy and we've got a hell of a long way to go. But, you know, if we've got, you know, the, the, the people who are most important to this football club, the supporters behind us, that helps. And, you know, that's our way of giving back. You know, we, we work hard during the week to try and give back on the weekend when we play a game of football. And, uh, you know, pleased that, um, you know, for the long ride home, they're, uh, they're going to have smiles on their faces. You mentioned it sort of near the start as well, but the subs seem to make a big difference in the second half started a bit slow but then they really sort of gave you extra energy as well? Yeah, I thought it was Yeah, it was kind of that time of the game where I just felt we just needed some you know, steady hands and to be fair, you know, Pierre and Ivan are two of my most experienced players and I thought they did really well when they came on, they just steadied things and we got confidence from that and that gave us sort of the, the platform then to go get our second goal and I said I thought we controlled the game really well after that. You know, there's a couple of moments maybe where it got away from us, but even then I can't remember sort of Vic having to make a significant save. So, yeah, I thought, um, you know, both of them, and <coughs> Skippy and Gio and uh, Benny when he came on, you know, it's going to be important for us. You know, guys coming on, we saw it last week against Man United that, you know, when we need it, they provide what we need for the team. And looking ahead, you do have Fulham next. Um, game's coming quickly, uh, very quickly now. Um, will you make wholesale changes next to that one? Yeah, we'll make some changes. We've got some guys who, you know, are really keen to, they're really keen to play. Uh, we're working hard at training and, um, and look, the, the way we play takes a lot out of us. So, you know, it's a short turnaround and also another game on you know, the, following, the following week. So um, we'll make some changes, but we're making changes because we want to win the game. That's, that's why I'm going to make the changes, not because, uh, you know, we want to give guys a game. It's, like I said, hopefully... By making the changes we do, we maintain the intensity and tempo and quality of our game. Tom's up. And in the summer where midfielders are going for 100 million, do you think James Madison at 40 to 45 million could be the bargain? $45 million bargain, pound bargain. <laughs> I don't know what world you live in, mate, but... Uh, um, I know what you mean, relatively so. Yeah, I know. Look, he's look. I've 
there was, wasn't anyone happier than me when we got him. You know, I was delighted. I, I, and to be fair, I, I, I've even sort of, you know, not, I wouldn't say surprised, but I'm overjoyed at the footballer I've got, you know, just the, and, you know, just the way he's embraced the whole club, you know, where he's at in his life, he really wants to be the person who, <clears throat> you know, is that creative force for us and, and, he, and, you know, he's embraced every part of our sort of football model. You know, he works hard, you know, wins the ball back for us as he presses. It's not like he's out there and just coming to life and we've got the ball. Um, but, you know, he's you know he's had a disrupted week. He, he only had one session with us. But, you know, for him to put on a performance like that is um, he's a credit to him. And, and I think there's more to come, you know. I think, you know, once we get more understanding, he gets more understanding about you know, with his teammates, particularly the forward players, and they get a, a better understanding from him. Um, I think, you know, the, he's going to keep improving. And, um, you know, I'm delighted we've got him. Um, yeah, if we got him in the bargain bin, mate, whatever you want to call it, that's great for us. It seems like you're the perfect fit, as in he's the kind of player that you like, but you seem the kind of manager that can get the best out of him as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the way we play... Um, more than sort of maybe me personally. I think the way we play w w definitely suits him because it you know requires us. You know we want to have the ball. We want to play in the opposition half. It, it gives guys like him the opportunity to to receive ball in areas where you know they can they can do the things that they love to do. You know, and rather than sort of you know us limiting the amount of times he gets on the ball, we're trying to get the, him and the other creative players as much of the ball as possible to, for them to to do the stuff that they you know that they love to do so yeah you know, I think the way we play certainly um certainly suits him yeah just finally this today's performance and the start of the season the perfect birthday present yeah no I'm 58 um we you know I mentioned we, we always put um you know birthday sort of celebrations on hold uh, depending on the results so um I'm sure my wife's scrambling to, to arrange something now for tomorrow uh, but uh yeah it'll be nice um obviously Short turnaround to Fulham, so I've still got to go into work tomorrow. But uh, um, be nice to spend some time with the family, and uh, yeah, another another uh, sort of uh, click closer to that 60 mark, mate. So yeah, good. With, with James, Ange, how much, uh, how important is to get the balance right? Obviously, you play, you have certain structures and what have you, but giving him the freedom to go where he wants because it looked like he was taking up such a range of positions. Well, they've all got freedom, you know. There's no, you know. It, you know, we're very structured, but hopefully it doesn't look that way because, you know, we've got guys... I mean, we had Pedro Porro centre forward at one stage a couple of times today. So, you know, that's... Um, you know, that's part of, hopefully, us being a you know, really good team, an effective team, and hard to stop is that, you know, what what is a rigid structure looks very fluid because guys understand you know that, that as long as there's movement out there they're looking for spaces and other guys are filling the spaces they leave then it doesn't really matter where they pop up or where they go you know so it's um but there is a discipline within that you know it's not just about sort of running anywhere it's about going to the areas where we work on constantly and and you know if it looks fluid then you know that makes us harder to stop oh. um, was there an injury to destiny I think he just kicked the ground, from what I understand, and um, he didn't want to come off. But you know, at that stage, you know the way the kind of rules are at the moment, they go off for 30 seconds, and I just thought, well, you know, it's better putting Benny on and just keeping us up, you know, keeping the tempo up in the game for us. And uh, but just speaking to him now, he's fine. Okay, so it's just proportionate. Yeah, I, th I think that's what I just said. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't use that word, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I also asked about James Madison. You might not have seen, but like. He was having a drink at one stage during a stoppage of play in the first half and there was a bull Mufanu who didn't like that he'd gone down a couple of minutes earlier. He stood up and shouted that you're a cheat to James Madison who kind of smiled and pointed to the scoreboard which said 1-0. What would you, what do you have to say about that? Is, is that slightly ill-advised from him or...? God, he saw all that. Where were you sitting? <laughs> right by it. Yeah? You weren't the fan that said it, were you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's fine, mate. It's all a bit of theatre. Come on, let's go. Yeah, just a bit of enjoyment.